Hi, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. This is going to be for all Pisces placements. If you're a cross-watcher, you're more than welcome to join. All right, so we're going to do the reading a little bit different today, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the way that this reading goes. <sighs> all right, Pisces. So if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Every single one of my subscribers is automatically entered in a giveaway to win a free reading at the end of each month. All right, so I want you to think of a question, think of a wish, think of something that you would like the answer to. What are you watching this reading for? What are you trying to figure out? Think of that and keep that in mind while I shuffle and pull the cards. Higher gods, spirits, angels, please show me what Pisces needs to see. All right, this is it. When I was doing your pre-shuffle and meditation before I started the reading, I got the Hangman and the Knight of Cups. With the Hangman and the Knight of Cups is showing me that after a very long time of confusion, you are either walking away from a situation because you have somebody new walking towards you, or the person who was undecisive about you has finally made up their mind. Now, for some of you, the person who made up their mind about you, they may be a little bit too late. Let's see. We'll start off with the King of Swords here. Pisces, this is the time. I know you are very intuitive. You probably, you know, run your life based off of your intuition. But I think this is a time where you need to be a little bit more logical, okay? I think this is a time where sometimes your emotions may be a little bit overwhelmed. I would say this is a time for you to ask people for help, ask people for advice, get a reading, Go to therapy. But I would say that your intuition, thoughts, knowledge with another person's intuition, thoughts, and knowledge will far better help you than yours on your own. This is just for the next, I would say, whatever day you're watching this, 45 days. Within 45 days from the day that you are watching this, that should be your main focus. Somebody has made up their mind about you, Pisces. They know what they want. They feel a little bit annoyed because they feel like they knew the whole time, but only now are they realizing it. Only now are they opening themselves up to it. Their mind, their body, their soul is all connected. At one point, one thing was always off. It's all there now. Their heart chakra is open. It's activated and it's ready and it's calling your name. Their heart is screaming for you. I'm hearing you take away the pain. Some of you take away the pain that this person has gone through. Some of you just being around you makes life a lot more bearable. I don't think this person's codependent on you because I feel like they are the type of person to deal with things on their own. Sometimes they also feel like, if you feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very guarded, it's because they feel like putting their problems onto other people is a burden, okay? And it's nothing that you've done to make them think that you're, or that they're burdening you. It's just how it's been for them growing up. 
everybody would come to this person for their problems but the second they needed somebody's help for something that they were going through it was a bother or or are we done talking about this yet they felt like they had no voice growing up they felt judged for some of you this is by the person that they loved the most their mother or their father whichever one they looked up to the most They were looking at you and projecting hurt from the past, but they're releasing that and they feel powerful and they feel proud and they feel ready. And this is the energy of somebody that you deserve. But before I feel like they lacked that energy. Some of you, this is somebody you dated, but others of you, this just never got off the ground because this person knew they weren't ready. They weren't able to give you what you wanted. We have the Nine of Wands. You are going to be a little bit afraid. You are. Should I give this person another chance or should I walk away? The choice is up to you. Logically, mentally, emotionally, what makes the most sense? Because if you want something bad enough, no matter what's happened, you can make it work. For some of you, it's like the second this person drops their guard because it took them so long, all the things that had happened while they had their guard up made you guarded. So now they're going to be dropping their guard and you are going to be guarded towards them. I do see that if you decide that this is the person that you want to be with, you guys will work together and you guys will get an equal balance where both of your guards are dropped and you both feel like you can trust and have faith in one another and the connection that you guys have and are building. So it's up to you to decide what you truly want. The Four of Wands. Happiness, success, completion. Complete alignment. 11, 11 here. This person will feel like home to you and you will feel like home to this person. This is like the energy of like riding off into the sunset, but not, it did not start like that, okay? You probably had a lot of crazy experiences that you went through with this person before you were able to even see the damn sunset, okay? But that's real. That's real life. Not always does that happen, but we all have certain things, certain baggages, whether they are wide open, right in front of the world for everybody to see, or deeply hidden to the point where we don't even acknowledge that they exist. I don't know why, but I'm hearing Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. With Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I'm seeing this one. It's a cartoon version and she goes to school. She goes to witch school. And I'm kind of getting this energy of you guys have gifts and powers that you need to tap into. You need to learn. You need to study the gifts that you have in order to be able to use them for your highest good. For others of you, in order to be able to use them for others' highest good, you have gifts that can heal people, that can help people. Some of you, you just need to ask, what are my gifts? Maybe you don't realize that you have them. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. Whoever you're dealing with, you're about to come into all of the knowledge, all of the information that you need to know about this person, okay? You are about to realize the truth of this person, the truth of the situation. Some of you are in this energy where you feel as though you still need more information. That information is coming to you. That information is coming to you. You do not need to look for it. It will find you. It will find you. On the other hand, some of you are wondering if it will be very successful for you to go back to school. I see that for a lot of you that are watching this, if you were to go back to school, it wouldn't be for what your soul's purpose is. So if you wanna go back to school, some of you, you won't even end up finishing it. Others of you, you will finish, you'll graduate, you'll go into whatever you go to school for for about two years and you'll switch up. So no, it would not be a waste of time, but it is not your purpose. 
So if you are wondering, I feel like if you're ever wondering, it's because you're not 100% sure, because you're, you don't know if that's even what you truly want. You want to find that thing where the second you hear it, you're like, yes, all of my fear goes out the window, all of my overthinking, maybe I'm not qualified, whatever, whatever, but I want it so bad that I will figure out a way to make it work, right? I see something like that coming towards you. For some of you, that relates to the relationship where regardless of everything that's happened, you still feel like you can make it work. And the two of you guys feeling that is what's going to make it work. I see two people coming together and having a relationship that is completely brand new from what they had before. Almost like it's two different people that are showing up today. The Four of Cups. Some of you know, you got to realize that there are still some healing that you need to do within you because with this Four of Cups, it's like you're getting everything you want and you're still not satisfied. Some of you, you're gonna realize that by getting everything you want and still not being satisfied, it's either one, because you are, you're looking for something and somebody that you need to find within yourself or two, the only reason you wanted that person back was because they didn't want you to begin with. And we've all been there, so that's fine. But some of you guys, it may, it may be like life looks great on the outside, but within you are holding on to so much, so much hurt, so much pain. I feel like you have a lot of beautiful opportunities, a lot of beautiful things that are surrounding you, but inside there is something missing and you don't know what it is. For some of you, if it's love, and you have no love interest in your life right now, with that Knight of Cups, it's on the way. It's on the way. But you feeling as though your cups are fulfilled without that person, without that thing, that's gonna attract it even quicker. Yeah. Some of you, you're just bored in your day-to-day -day life. You might be in a long-term relationship. Some of you with the Four of Wands, you're married to somebody and you've been thinking about looking up, you've been thinking about looking elsewhere, but you haven't. You've been tempted, but you haven't done it yet. It's just a thought that you've had in your head because you're feeling bored, you're feeling discontent. You're feeling like every day is the same with this person, routine. You could even have a routine, intimate life with this person. You love them, but you're not in love with them. Remember, there's a difference between loving someone and being in love with them. Some of you, you were dealing with somebody that feels like a roommate. We have the Ten of Wands. The end of burdens. The choice is up to you. The end of the burden. I'm seeing this two ways. Some of you... So things are gonna, the end of burdens. Things are in the past, you guys are gonna move forward and it's gonna be wonderful. Others of you, you feel like you need to leave this person but you still wanna give it a try even though you know it won't work out. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna start off as the Ace of Wands. Things are gonna be passionate again. You're gonna go through all of the things that you know you went through in the beginning with this person, all the great experiences, but then comes crashing down the same way that you're feeling right now. And then you'll keep going on that roller coaster ride year after year after year until you decide that it's time to walk away, to let this burden go. Just because you've been with somebody for a long time does not mean that you're obligated to stay with them. Okay, some of you it's because, you know, marriage is sacred. You don't wanna be married twice. You don't wanna go through a divorce. You don't wanna be a divorcee. <clears throat> you don't wanna do that. You promise each other through, or for better or for worse, and you don't wanna go back on that promise but if you're trying for better or for worse and your person is not trying for better or for worse, they are not holding up their bargain. They are not holding up their promise. You cannot be the only one holding up your promise. And for some of you, it's not even that. For some of you, it's just like, maybe they're trying and you just don't want to anymore. You just don't feel the energy to try anymore. I think you need to pretend as if you are the only one in this world. You don't have attachments to people, places, things. What would you do? Where would you go? Who would you be with? What type of person would you be with? What's the same? What you come up with that's the same as what you have in your life? Keep it. Anything that doesn't make it. 
I wouldn't have used that word, so my guide said toss it. Toss it. Pisces, it seems like you have a lot of thinking to do. Some of you connecting with your childhood, connecting with childlike, um, childhood um, memories is going to help you. Connecting to your childhood home, maybe going back home for a couple of months, a couple of weeks, maybe even days if it's not too far. That could be very beneficial for you. Possibly even looking at if you have patterns that you know you need to break, where did they come from? Did they start from when you were a child, watching your parents be together? Did they start from being in a relationship with your first love and you didn't really know better, you were pretty naive? Where do they start from? And how can you put them to an end? All right, Pisces, so I'm gonna leave it there. If you would like a personal reading to get more information on you or your person, the link will be in the description box below. We have a sale going on on the pre-recorded readings. Other than that, crystals are gonna be in the description box below. The crystals that I would recommend for you are the Citrine Towers. It's all about sustained wealth, not just attracting it, keeping it, prosperity, happiness, abundance, peace, and letting go of anything that doesn't align with that because you have that faith that it's coming. You could hold it in your hand, feel that it's with you. And then I actually see the rose quartz chunks for you guys as well. And it's the rough chunks. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I wish you all of the best. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know how this resonates with you. I will see you guys soon. Take care.